continuing with Wellington's victory in a Hugamont scenario. Scenario. Uh, here we go. We have yet to hit, hit any of our object objectives. I guess the main one's to capture Hugamont. Destroy 50% of our army, do not lose 50% of mine, and win before the end of game turn 20. We will continue. It is game turn 10. So here we are. Let me look and see. I believe it is time to for the British to move. Hold on here for a quick cough break. Alright. And like I said, it looks like it is the uh, English turn. We're getting down to the nitty gritty of this game. I was kind of chomped at the bit when they get going. Look at all my artillery we got up there. Ready to pound Hoogamal. All right, we're going to go ahead and hit the button and see what the British response is. Yes, we know we moved all of our men. Oh, we turned that down. I had the music turned down. Uh-oh. Oh, not good here. Fire. British going all the way down there. Wow, they were able to really get the fuck out of this. I hit my guys in the woods. Come on, push them back, push them back. Yeah, missed. All right, what we got going on here? He went in the square, firing, disrupted. Beefing up, and they fired and took out 10 men. All right, so far so good, but what do we see going on down here? Yeah, new troops coming on through. Look at him, a six. He's got some good artillery. <laughs> the only thing is, I think it might be too little too late. But let's see what we can do about all that. First things first, and you can see here, he's cleared out this area. My little deception hasn't worked, but we are going to push on again and fire in our line formation. Well, first thing we'll do is we'll take the leader and we'll embed him in here with him. Maybe help with their steady their aim. Fire. It's just a minus one. All right, well, we really, this is the key part of this battle up here now. Got some Skirmishers, they are going to skirmish. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Come on, skirmishers. Oh, here we go. Well, what's going on with these guys? We don't want to do that. Let's see if we can't join another group of skirmishers here. Yeah. Beef up our skirmishing front. All right, now these guys can all fire at these. Hold on, let's see who they are. British skirmish here. So skirmish versus skirmish. I like to fire at these guys behind the wall. Hugamai, I wonder if we could hit them. Oh, let's give it a whirl. Yes. We'll go for the skirmishers here with this group. Yes. Not doing too good. Not doing too good. Now we're running out of men quick. What the heck happened here? All right, we will stay disrupted. Oh, we can't do nothing that way. We got to get, all right, we got to have them waste our artillery, I guess. Let's get back into form. Line formation. Now we need to take Hugamont with five. Do we just fire? Let's hold off here. Choose what we got, our artillery. Oh, what we gotta do, what we gotta do. We gotta get these troops on over here too. In line formation. French 2-1 Voltagier. Some more. Uh, oh, shoot, they're protecting my artillery though. We'll keep them there. We'll give them a shot here. 
So make sure they protect the artillery. Well, they'll protect the artillery. These guys can't get around, I don't think. We'll get a shot at the ones that hook them all. <laughs> Behind the wall ain't gonna do no good, I guess. All right, let's see what my artillery can do right now. Oh, fire at Hugamal. Minus one, fire at Hugamal. Oh, minus one, they are disrupted. Come on, artillery, tell me you could, oh, I was gonna say what happened there. They could fire, they're going to fire. <laughs> Uh, I think my computer's locking up. All right, come on, computer. We'll fire down here at these men. At the artillery, we'll fire at the artillery. <laughs> Lobbed it on in there. Oh, and it is a mess when it lands. Something must be running on my computer. It's taking up all the resources. It's fire again. <laughs> mess. Ouch. All right, we'll keep our leaders there. These guys here will, well, let's go on into the spot where the flag is, I guess. Oh, we can't get in there? Huh, all right, we will go like this. <laughs> ah, I would have rather meleeed. I don't know what happened there. All right, that'll be it. British response. <laughs> Reinforce the Puga <laughs> Disrupted my units. He's got some strong units in there. They're just going right through that wall, so I guess <laughs> I guess there's gates through there or something, whatever. Alright, uh, coming down here. Man, they got a lot of artillery coming. <laughs> Fire them at it as they go. Melee against mine, and it is a we missed. They got a shot hit. There goes, ooh, firing at my... Man, that artillery's a killer. I think my dreams of grandeur are going down the tubes. <laughs> All right, you will do this. We'll take a melee. Fires at me as I approach the column. All right, destroyed them. Let me press pause here because I'm getting a message. We'll be right back. All right, all right, what do we do? I think we use our artillery. Let's go ahead. Oh, let's move these boys here on. Uh, we'll leave them there. We'll just reform them. There they go. Oh, they can only do two more. All right. If they can't fire, he will fire at the... <laughs> Just move up a little bit because we want to get right in here to hook them all. Alright, time for an artillery, another artillery barrage. Fire one, two, fire two, fire three, fire four. Oh, gotta go for the artillery. Got it. Fire my last one at Hogamont. These men here, unfortunately, are not doing their job. We will move them out of the way. Reform into line. The Voltigeurs are going into Hogamalt. Let's see what this does. Oh, yeah. All right, we can stay there. Oh, we missed. Can we stay there? Oh! Destroyed my Volta Gears against 80. I guess 40 of them went against them. Man, that was the worst. We're taking this guy out here. Now we gotta get some troops up here now. We're up, we're up a creek. We have no more troops. There was my game right there. Ouch, it was so promising. <laughs> Where's all my troops? They're gone. Oh, I got skirmishers. A couple units here. And that is it. It is turn 12 and that was it. 
There goes my hoogamot. Wow, I didn't do nothing. All right, let's go on with it then. Give me some uh, leader over here. That leader can stay there. Well, let's keep him here. He'll stay there. More troops in the Hoogamon. There are 80 of them in there now. Oh, oh, I can't keep up with this. This goes way too quick. Let me pull out here maybe more. Oh. Oh, destroying my units with his artillery. That's game there, folks. Let's see what we can do. All right, I got some troops down here. Fire, get that. Man, he's got more troops here. Oh, this is the worst. Fire is all I can do. Lost one. What do I do with my skirmishers? Somebody's got to get over here in the Hoogamon. Okay, hold on. Oh, artillery fire. Miss. All we can do is hopefully disperse them. Mess. Wow. All those artillery hits are a mess. So, Hoogamon is impregnable. That's just not good. Look at that. That's what I needed. Uh, I'll tell you. Let's see what these guys can do. Anybody? Can... Alright, I guess the only way to get Hoogamon is to, uh, is to assault it. And that is it. We're on turn 13, and it is not looking good. And those, uh, Volta Gears getting hammered there. This artillery is... Th talk about massed artillery. Whew. All right, let's see how we end this game. I can lose now. All right, goes more troops in the Hoogamont. 13. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's it. There you go. You can see how quickly it changes. Oh, yeah, we're done with Oh, I just killed my leader. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Okay, I'm playing another game called Victory and Glory Napoleon. I'll punch that up here on a, in a little bit. I've been playing the heck out of that game, too. I love that game. It's another computer game. But there's a little saying in there. Whenever you lose, they tell you that you have, uh, let me see, that you, I have blundered my way into an epic defeat. <laughs> I think that's why pretty well comes into play here. Oh, my God. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's just see what we can do. Oh. Yeah, it's all over with, but the... Yeah, you ain't gonna do that to him out. Try to soften it up all you want. do it then how do you get in there uh, all right well, we'll just keep on going to the lose the game uh now he's coming after my art oh he moved out though that is killer uh, <laughs> all righty we'll call this a bid but no man did it come crashing down oh man i was so excited to play this game i was looking for a victory my first chance man that's it. Now, see, the rest of them now, you know how it goes. So we can, I'll, I'll keep on playing this game and try to get me a win. But that very first game is the one that, you know, you really want to really win because you have no idea what's going on now, know what's going on the rest of the game. So it really ain't really true, I guess, the form. But, uh, yeah, that is it. Uh, having some fun down here. Now, I'll show you this other game we got that I've been playing a whole bunch of. Oh, 
see here. And that is this one. This is a really good game. Really good. I'm playing the heck out of Victory and Glory Napoleon. There you go. That's a good game. It's a it's a challenging game. And the thing I like about it is it's it's a card driven game. And uh right now I'm on the uh Spain scenario where I got the Austrians coming at me. Let's see here. Uh, uh, we are playing the Austrian Phoenix and the Spanish Quagmire. And there you go. <laughs> this is a nice game. It really is. Uh, I've been on this for hours. And like I said, this scenario here is really hard. Uh, if you can get some good cards, it can really change the way the the scenario goes but highly recommended all right we're down here enjoying our gaming season probably uh more than i, I really should but <laughs> hey it is my vacation time and this lasts for at least two three months we'll be back